Okay, so um, I'm going to uh, take you through the most recent integration with Catapult AMS uh, with Team Builder. So first things first, this integration uh, is going to be a one-way integration, meaning that the Team Builder data will be migrated into Catapult AMS uh, and not vice versa. So that's, that's the first thing to cover. Um, so this is how you would get your account uh, set up. First, you want to log into your Team Builder account. And then the, at the top right, you click your profile picture and then come all the way down to settings. And then on the left, you want to go to integrations. So our account at the moment is already connected. Um, but if yours is not, you should see a button that says connect. And then this is key. You actually have to reach out to your Catapult rep in order to receive um, a, an, an integration account. So if you receive an integration account from Catapult, uh, then you can also receive a token from Catapult um, that will allow you to then connect Catapult to Team Builder. So go ahead and, and shoot them an email or give them a phone call and then they can get that information to you. And then once you connect your Team Builder account to Catapult, you have the option of syncing lifts, uh, speed, agility, quickness, and cardio and circuits if you would like. So if you sync all three like we have, then anything that's programmed in Team Builder will also be migrated to uh, Catapult AMS. So in this instance, I'm going to choose an athlete, um, Rocky Balboa, and um, I've gone ahead and entered some data in for back squat, for RDL, uh, completed a circuit, and then I did a hang power snatch. I just entered in some loads. Okay, so once I did that, uh, keep in mind that Catapult will sync Team Builder data every 25 minutes. But if you want to see it instantaneously, you can go back to integrations and click the sync button. And if you click the sync button, it'll sync the data automatically. So I've gone ahead and done this already for this video. And then now I can log into my Catapult account. So in our case, it's catapult hyphen us.catapultsports.com. I'm on the dashboard, and then I'll go ahead and click this athlete for which I entered data for, which is Rocky Balboa. So I have an athlete profile here for Rocky, um, but if I want to see some specific data for um, strength and conditioning, I can just go to strength and conditioning and then go to testing. And then I can see Rocky has some exercises logged, uh, including the exercise name, assigned date, completed, reps, so on. Now, this is actually a really big table. So this is like a big raw, uh, a big raw table of data from Team Builder. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to hop down to reporting. And then we are going to pull up uh, a canned report by Catapult. So this is where we should take a note and say that um, you want to work with your Catapult rep to come up with some pre-built reports that will show the information that you want from your AMS, uh, including the team builder data. So in this example report, um, this is you know a, an example of something that was thrown together pretty quickly, um, but reps one, two, three, and four really mean sets um, and they count the average number of reps. And then we average the loads per set as well. So that's what we have going on with this report. If you'd like to see a more full version of a report, this would look like, uh, this would be a, what a team report would look like. So this includes uh, a profile for every athlete for sets one through four, and then a little bit of information in a table below. And as you can see, you can build this report out. So at this point, this is again, where we emphasize that reporting is where you um, enroll the help of your catapult rep in order to get your strength and conditioning data in a more reportable format, maybe even in conjunction with some other data that's being stored in your AMS system as well. But this video should get you started on setting up the integration and understanding how we sync. And then the last thing is I like to note that whatever email address is being used for athletes in the Team Builder account, you want to make sure that the athlete uh, email matches up with the athlete being used the athlete email being used in the Catapult AMS. That is going to make sure that we connect the athletes and identify them as the same athlete in both systems.